Hey guys, it's Casey in the flesh. It's August 16th and it's about to be 8 p.m. It's about like 7.50, 7.45, somewhere around there. I've rested all day. It's definitely very needed. I woke up around 9. I got a call from the doctors where I got my transvaginal ultrasound done. There is a right ovary cyst, which oh, I knew. I knew it was there. So I'm glad that that was... You know, I got the information on that so that it's it's the weight lifted so that I'm moving the camera a little bit, sorry. Because now you know like how to take action. It's just more of a pivotal point, I find. I started to make appointments for gynecologists and I've gotten insurance. So we're on the right track. Um, I hope to hear back about my insurance within like this week. Then I did some like stress relief yoga. It was like a 10 minute thing. Um, yoga with Adrian, I believe that's the channel called. I did it on YouTube. I was kind of like hesitant to go back to my yoga, my yoga classes just because I don't want to overdo it. And I know my body is like really seeking the balance and is really seeking that time. But I think tomorrow will be good. And then I'm going to be doing like yoga like maybe two or three times a week until further notice the doctor said that because the right ovary is there with the cyst they recommended me to just make a follow-up ultrasound in six to eight weeks I kept that noted but i did go ahead and make a gynecologist appointment even if i don't have insurance i think it would be it's just the right move to take other than that i've been fasting all day i did a water fast i just wanted to give my body a nice little reset and then tomorrow i'm gonna be eating fruits throughout the day another fast basically did i feel very like i feel so much lighter like i said just getting that information it makes me feel oh it put my mind at ease and i've just been trying to really remind myself to be mindful of how i'm spreading myself thin because i do go back to work on friday but i'm trying to take it one day at a time we have to take things one day at a time one moment at a time i'm gonna go ahead and put my laundry away yeah, you're gonna be with me, but we're gonna be, you're gonna be really moving really fast. Your brain process things so quick. I'm so proud of you. This is the bottle of clothes I speak of. It hasn't been here long, maybe like a week, <laughs> but it is obviously taking up my only counter space. And then this over here, which we will get to. That is a bag of donations that I need to bring eventually. So yeah, let's get to it. June something like that because I haven't had intended on wearing it to Pride. I was like, I don't know when I'm gonna wear this, but it would be a great Pride outfit. I worked on Pride. I didn't do anything, so but it's just so cute. It's time will come. I dropped these I dropped these little hair clips on the floor and when I dropped them I was like oh I'm gonna step on those as if they were Legos and I did exactly that I'm light on my feet caught it before it went too deep hey guys I decided to do a voiceover on this just because I normally wouldn't question mark i always want to but i get kind of bashful i guess so we're breaking the ice baby um obviously you've seen me working on a physical like little funsy art it feels good to get my hands involved more so when i'm feeling really depressed or like anxious and kind of am going to th going through things 
So that's what I was doing here. Later in the video, you'll see me get involved with clay. And it just really helps me take my mind off just troubling matters of my life. Just like no other way to put it, I guess. And it's a lot different from working digitally, of course. I find that having all of your utensils in front of you and like dragging the pen and touching on the paper, it's just, it's a completely different feeling. And I feel that it just, I, my brain wants to compare it to ordering out, which would be delivery, I mean, which would be digital food. Oh my God, I am getting this all myself. My brain wants to compare it to getting delivery food versus or cooking at home. Like the process just seems a lot more mindful when you make art with physical crayons and oil pastels and whatever it might be. Um, so yeah, just this whole night I felt called to do something like this. So I finally took it upon myself to watch some YouTube and get into it. Get my hands a little messy, kind of not stress myself out about it and worry too much about how the art or the outcome is going to be because I find that it's very easy for me to fall into that space nowadays, especially with the mindset of me wanting to sell my work. Um, I am always looking to make something sellable, or maybe not always, but it's definitely, it's easy for me to refrain from creating in, if, if I'm not working on something that I plan on selling. Does that make sense? I hope it does. As I begin to film the process of my creating a lot more often, I'm going to be doing voiceovers because I'm a, I'm a fan of my content creators that I watch when they do voiceovers. And it's not always music, especially if the music they choose is not music to my ears per se and of course it's subjective and everyone's not gonna like everything but it's really enjoyable to hear somebody speaking over them create art I find it very relaxing even and yeah I just if you'd like it I don't know why I said yeah like that hard and like kind of nervous sounding but what I the point is if you're a fan of me doing this I'll do it. If you're not, I'm still gonna do it. I broke my crayon here. I was an oil pastel, but. I had this drawing that I had made the other day, really not that long ago, and I had posted up right here next to my desk. And I've been wanting to color it in, so today I finally decided to do that. Get my mind off of everything. You just watched me do that. I use these paint markers. And that text says heaven on earth, this is heaven on earth, and a little blob monster. I love drawing guys like this. They're just very fun. They feel like a good time. I would be their friend. But I am watching Lindsay Q's vlogs. I've been watching her since I was a really good teenager, young, young lad. And it's very soothing. Her videos are very soothing for my brain. I'm staring at this empty box of coconut water and the things I would do for a full one right now. Quench my insides. Ice cold coconut water without the ice, so just like really refrigerated. Rest of the night might read, might continue attaching googly eyes to the storage bins. The possibilities, they are endless, but they, the range is pretty wide. I am such a big fan of doing things in dim to no lighting. I always have been like this. When I was younger, I had met those many book lights that you would hook up into the page of the book and you can read in the dark. So it kind of carries over throughout my life, except there is no more book light. It's just me, my cat eyes, and the pen and the sheet of paper and whatever I might be doing at that time. But I know it's bad for your eyes, but I, regardless, I'm a big fan. So we just got back from the grocery store. We went to Whole Foods. Whole Foods is very pricey. Even with that means the old Amazon 
Prime discount. I always go there because I like the experience. This feels so close up actually. This like camera, it feels very close up. I went to Whole Foods, picked up a lot of fruits because like I said previously, yesterday I detoxed, I did just a water detox. Went really well, I slept a lot, I got mad rest. Even today I slept in, went to sleep really early. And then when I woke up, got ready and I went to, to Whole Foods. Here, first of all, I found these flowers. They got squished in my bag, but I was... I see flowers, I gotta pick them up. This is a whole watermelon. I meant to buy a long cutting knife because I don't have a long cutting knife. So cutting this is gonna be kind of kind of difficult because the, the longest cutting knife that I have looks like just a basic cutting knife. And just by, you see how long it is versus how big the watermelon is, it's not gonna work out. These I picked up because turmeric is good. I didn't realize there was a flavor. Turmeric is good for your ovaries and just inflammation in general. So then we got some bananas. These are cherries that fell in my Lyft's car and I'm just gonna clean them up and eat them anyways. This car was very clean. Bag of cherries. I got two things of blueberries, two things of raspberries a big bag of navel oranges, two lemons, this lemon, or actually I got three lemons, this lemon's open because I used it while I was eating watermelon. Before I got back home, if you squeeze a lemon on top of watermelon, it's a game changer, I promise you. I saw a video on Twitter of this man, he just got back from like working out or like being outside and he was eating a bowl of cut chunks of watermelon with lemon just squeezed all over and I did exactly that. And it lived up to what I was expecting, I guess. And then I got two peaches, papaya, and coconut, just because I love coconut. And I never eat like raw coconut like this. It was like $9, $8.23. So I splurged here, but we did it anyways, moving on. Pomegranate seeds, again, good for the reproductive system, good for inflammation, just very expensive, very pricey. This uh, cantaloupe, I got some grapes. I got juices, so I'm drinking this one right now. It is Whole Foods cold pressed juice with orange, carrot, and beet just to give me some nutrients. And then I have orange turmeric that has apple, aloe vera, lemon, black pepper, orange, and turmeric. Two of those. And then I got another one with roots with ginger. So it has apple, lemon, ginger, and beet. Um, it's now one, almost one, 12.43. That's the grocery haul. Look at the, this is the Mary Ruth's vegan turmeric gummies i opened it up and it looks like this oh i don't know what i was expecting them to look like but they smell very i smell a lot of the peach mango flavor i'm gonna take one i guess we can do a little taste test wait how much is even adults take four gummies per day i forgot to check that because i hate supplements that call for you taking them more than once i just want to take them one time <laughs> and move on but anyways i'm gonna take one It's like candy. I honestly usually avoid gummy vitamins as well because I'm just not a fan. <laughs> I don't really like them too much. I have my multivitamin, Women's One by Rainbow Light. And then I have magnesium, which it's good for muscle, nerve, and heart function, but I think there's magnesium in my multivitamin, so there's manganese. There is magnesium. I don't really need this. I don't think I caught that before. The turmeric gummy tastes like an edible. I'm not gonna lie. Maca root, good for a boost of mood and uh, what is it? Reproductive health, performance, and mood enhance blood flow. I'm actually running out of these. I only have two more. Um, this too, rose hip. Evening primrose is also good for your reproductive system and your and the ladies with the cycles and hormones and everything. I'm gonna take that really quick. I also take cat hairs in my mouth. I get Neon's cat hair everywhere. It's really, uh, I just not a fan. It's not my favorite thing about Neon. He sheds and sheds and sheds. I was just looking at him listening to me. Anyways, black seed oil. This is gonna help me kill what's going on in my tummy tum tum. One teaspoon twice daily. So I'm gonna, I just like sip a eyeball amount in my mouth. And I immediately chase it with water because it tastes just not, you know, it's not, doesn't taste like you could eat this. 
So I changed the setting on my filming on my camera. I don't know if it's any difference, but you be the judge. I wanted to show you. The other day, I had this plant, and the other day I realized that it's actually growing. It just felt really nice to see because I had never, like, I never really had a plant where I saw growth. This is them, um, these little sprouts. They're just so cute to me. I just watered it yesterday, and as you can see, there's leaves that are, you know, damaged and aren't even here so those leaves are breaking but i'm so happy and so pleased to see that more is sprouting i'm gonna have a whole tree one day i'm very excited hi nana hi you want some camera time i have this pothos that my coworker also gave me i have to repot it because there is no draining there's no draining in this pot. I feel like that could be a big reason as to why it's, there's no progress. And I know, I know pothos, they don't really need much attention or love to keep it moving, keep it thriving. But I would like to see him go along. And then same thing, the leaves got dried. I think the air quality in my apartment is not the best a lot of times because I'll put on the AC and it blows out cold air, of course. And my AC unit is right here and it kind of just goes straight onto the plants. And this is just where I find they get the best sunlight. So I'm excited about the plant, plant growth. That to me was good news because I saw it after my whole health situation. A good sign, like if my plants are still growing, that's a good sign to me. I take that as a good sign to life. That's life being, you know, uh, expanded. Wait, I want something, I want to share something. I keep finding myself being, I don't know if it's just because like I'm in a headspace of i have some real shit going on in my life and like i'm trying to find a balance again or whatever it might be i don't want to overthink it and start pointing fingers at myself about what it could be because i'm you know adjusting and i'm doing my best with what i can how i can but i keep finding myself being like very passive to people um or maybe it's just like it's just really ex been like ex ex the exposure on the passive is very strong i have hiccups oh my god i drink so much I have so much liquids in my body from the melon. I keep finding myself being passive and it's like, I just, I just, that's all. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I could be.
I used to work with clay quite often and it was my favorite medium to work with at one point and I will say it still is like a really good time when I get into it it just kind of it takes effort for me to want to grab all of the utensils and instruments and everything that I need clean up the space and set up the environment to work with clay I definitely felt nice doing this I definitely it, I it, it was a bigger thing that I had worked on I think the last time I had worked with clay it was when I first moved here in Oregon in 2022 and it was a little small little desk friend that you I'm sure you have seen him on my desk he's pink and yellow and he sits with me but I was definitely very rusty I didn't really know what to do I didn't really know how to approach it but I knew that I just wanted to have fun and make this foot vase and it ended up coming out pretty nicely I mean I sanded it the other day and it's I still have to paint it but it was a good time I had a good time doing this and that's what art is all about baby just go crazy let loose have fun I started working on this foot so the plan of it was to be a foot lamp I have this uh, light bulb cord that you can put and make your own lamp um, and I have this doodle of a foot up here actually I'll show you in a second that I was like I would love to make that into a candle and then I realized that making a candle is kind of difficult for me at this time I don't have like wax and just a number of things it's just not in my options right now so instead I was like well I've been wanting to make a lamp and I'm not sure of how I want to go about making the lamp so I can make a lamp instead but I'm out of clay and I also um, approached it kind of, not wrong, I didn't approach it wrong, but I definitely took a different approach to where it didn't work out as much, especially with the clay that I had. Um, so instead, I probably have, I don't know, I keep touching my face and my hands look like this. So if I have white on my face, explanation here. I'm a hard working woman, my hands look like this, so that your hands go like that, look at your palms. Anyways, so I started just going with the flow and like, making just going with the fact that it is a vase or a just a bowl that I can put random things in um I can put ooh I just made myself a fruit bowl I give him little nails and some of my hair marks and you see me like tying it around and like doing scratch marks at it because I also want that to look like hair so it's gonna dry that's gonna take some time when it does dry I think I will sand it so that it looks a lot more smooth. And then I have this dishwash safe Mod Podge that I think I'm gonna, it's my first time using it, but I'm gonna coat it with this and it says to do two to three coats and let, uh, what's it called? Let it cure for 28 days, a whole month. That's a long ass time. It feels really good to like completely get my mind away from everything, just in general, just let my mind not think and just, mold and touch clay it's been a long time since i've worked with clay so i just haven't been wanting to do the whole thing with clay i'm excited to see this dry and to see the fun outcome and i'm glad that i did this because it was a lot of fun and i'll still make oh i never showed you the photo i'll still make the um vase this is what i look like you see how i see, you see the candle vision that this would be like tall um the tall pillar candles and the whole thing is just made out of wax and i thought that that would be really that's a vibe. Shout out to Clay. See you guys later.